Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get uh, his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you see Mastering Probability right on the right-hand side. You just hit that Mastering Probability. You hit subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593, and 20, or 33%. Now, folks, bottom line, we have a trader's market here, man. I mean, big time. So come over, check it out. You can basically get it for 29 days free. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you'll be happy if you did. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, we're so glad that you, uh, you folks in Tampa beat oh. uh, one storm, Hurricane Ian. Pretty heavy. But then, lost, but then lost to the storm that blew in by Kansas City. I know. Yeah. <laughs> two and two. What are we going to do? Th those games yesterday were unbelievable, man. And I, I love the homes anyway, so it's terrible because I like Brady, too. So it's like, yeah, I, know, I, know. I mean, yeah, 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 that, that yeah. kid's something else, man. Well, they're both it, something else. but uh, it, He is. Well, yeah. you know, when he gets out, I think, you know, I think he's best when he's out of the pocket. Yeah. You know, it How just, about uh, that, Duncan? Whoop. Oh, hey, let me throw that over here for that time. I mean, yeah. seriously. Underhand shovel. I mean, you know, every, right? It's, amazing. It's, Absolutely it's amazing. Cool. So the question everybody's got today, including myself, is did the stock market just make a bottom? So I thought what we could do is kind of focus in on the Dow. Okay. And just take a look at the chart patterns out there and, and see what they say. So let's start with the Dow's 125-year midterm election cycle pattern. Okay. And if we take a look at that pattern, that's what we have up on the screen right now, the red vertical line that represents where we're at today. And I'd have to say in taking a look at this chart, the answer to the question would be yes. And this would also suggest, not that we won't see ups and downs, pullbacks, but this would suggest that the market, the Dow itself, could run higher right into Election Day, November the 8th out there. So that's coming from the seasonal cycle chart. However... If we take a look at last Friday's price action, that was a second consecutive weekly close below its uh, June swing point out there. Okay. And that really triggers an A to B equals CD to the downside, with the first price projection level being about 268.69, 248. Now, what folks can also take a look at as price was moving below the B point on a, and this is a weekly chart yes. that we're looking at, as price was moving below the, week, the weekly swing point, it was with lighter volume. So always makes that A to B equals C, D to the downside a little bit suspect. Now, for the Dow Cash Index, that same pattern, its weekly A to B equals C, D to the downside would look like this. And this here, the A to B equals C, D, we can see the one-to-one -one would take us to 26,982. But if we look at the retracement from the 2020 lows to the highs out here in 2022, what we'll see is the 0.618 retracement is a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals C, D pattern. And that would suggest that would then potentially form a Gartley buy pattern. So we've got mixed signals out here. If we take a look at the shorter term, this is the Dow. This is suggesting that the Dow may have bottomed as price found support at a descending price channel. Now, what I've done here, Tom, is I've taken the the uh, the, the tools that Bud Rolfs taught to us. I'm taking a look at the open and closes of candles to create that channel line. So the top of that channel line is very, very solid. I believe the bottom of the channel line is also solid. We can see that price got down there. And this is suggesting that we could see price move up to either the midpoint of this descending price channel or make its way all the way up to the uh, top of that. And that's signals that uh, we should see a further rally. Now, we can also take the Dow's, so those were diagonal uh, price channels out there. We yes. can also look at uh, uh, horizontal price channels, and that's what these green lines show. So at the same time that price was hitting the bottom of that descending price channel, what we can also see is price was finding support in the area of 28,909. That was the next horizontal trading range boundary line. So this suggests or supports the idea that we could see a short-term bottom with a further counter trend move. And if price, however, if price takes out the lows of last Friday out here, what the real signal would be telling us is that price is busting through this descending price channel out here and would likely, this is a much bigger picture. Yes. This takes us back to 2009. The yellow lines are the rising price channels that we have been in here. And so a bust of the lows from last Friday would suggest that price moves down to about the 26,500 area. And that's where we've got this next rising yellow uh, uh, diagonal line to the upside. From a daily standpoint, if we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract, and I took a snapshot of this probably about 10, 15 minutes ago, we're definitely going to get a bullish engulfing candle. Now, this is a daily A to B equals CD pattern. And where price got to earlier 
uh, this week or, or uh, today, this morning, was the 1 to 1.272 level. So it got below the uh, lows from uh, last week. Uh, we now have a bullish engulfing candle. We also have, we take a look at the expansion of swing points here from the June lows to the highs that we saw out here in the uh, August time frame. We've got a 1.272 expansion that took us to the 28,594 level. So this gives us a Gartley buy pattern. And this would suggest that price, this is the uh, Dow, Dow Equity Future contract, folks. This would suggest that price may want to move to either 3545 or 31256. Those happen to be the center and top of their bearish structured daily profile. So this is going to be a sell zone, 3545 to 31256. And if that run is going to unfold, well, then what we needed to see today, and I don't know where we're at right now. Again, this was a snapshot from about 15 minutes ago. We need to see price close above this red-green line. That's referred to, Tom, as the oscillator and change line. We've only seen, since the uh, move lower uh, back around the uh, 22nd, we've only seen two bars that have actually closed above this line. So today could be bar number one. Today could be bar number two if we get beyond that. Then that's supporting that run to this 31,256 level that uh, I had referred to uh, just before. So in overnight trading, so we've taken a look at a number of different time frames. So weekly charts say, hey, you busted through those June lows. It was on light volume, but be prepared for a potential A to B equals CD to the downside. We did hit some support, some uh, descending trend line channel support out there. The daily time frame is giving us a Gartley butterfly pattern out here. Now we switch down or I switch down into shorter term time frames and the two hour time frame chart and, and the real key as to whether or not we've made any kind of bottom of significance here with a rally that could take us up into election day is going to be how this first retracement takes place. Do we get a do no do we start to form higher bottoms and higher highs out there? Well, the two hour chart is one that I'll be paying attention to tonight. And the reason that is, Tom, is because it's going to complete what I refer to as a TD9 count top uh, by day's end. Okay. So as the equity future contract comes to close, typically when we get TD9 counts, we will see a retracement. And the question is, do we see a retracement back to support the top of the profile on a two hour time frame? That's at 29,432, or do we get a pullback all the way to the oscillator and change line, which is likely out here? Now, these patterns, they help us to identify when potential tops or bottoms form. They don't always work, meaning that we could see a top, it just was a sideways move, and then price continues to move higher. And if price takes out overnight 29,784, that adds to the idea that we should see a further counter trend move out there. So it's going to be the two hour time frame chart to be watching overnight for those folks that uh, uh, watch the uh, future contracts out there. And folks, uh, bottom line, it's a traders market. So uh, if you'd like to trade, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the newsletter, go on the right hand side, you see maximum probability right there. Steve does a great job, lines everything up every morning. I mean, you got, you got to love volatility, man. <laughs> you do, you do. And I'll just last, uh, lastly, I posted up this uh, little chart here. This is a market analyzer tool. It evaluates what the market conditions are for all these different time frames. And you can see on the daily, this is for the mining sector, it's showing the bear market is over inside the mining sector. Oh, I like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'll give you a big kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Have a Tom. great one. A safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Thanks.